Hi, this is my first diary installment for my aquaponic system. I've only just finished building it. You can see here my main pond and you can see the, uh, the fish that are powering the system. I've got about 30 goldfish in there and their waste mixed with oxygen then converts into plant food. It's a very simple very elegant system. If I make a mistake, I find that the mistakes are extremely easy to correct. I introduced some floating fern into the system at first because I had a bit of an algal bloom and it seems to have worked out really well. With the floating fern, uh, it's also um, known as duck fern, not the same as duckweed, but um, very sim similar in nature. If it gets too much then I can just scoop it out with this swimming pool type of net. I can, once it's scooped out I can then dry it and then once it's dried you just rub it into your hands and it becomes like a powder and you can just throw that into the grow beds. So this is one of the grow beds I've got here. As you can see, I've used the expanded clay balls. I've got, here I've got a, uh, a broad bean, bean plant. I've used broad bean because, oh, I hope I don't break it. Uh, they throw out very good roots. Really good roots, in fact. And as you can see, the roots aren't white, so what they're doing is they're picking up some of the um, little bits of um, flotsam and dirt that are floating around in the system, chunky bits of fish waste. So it's helping to clean the system. And by having uh, roots uh, laying down in the system, it's setting up a, a little microecology. And that's the most important thing, is that the system is a living system. So I'll just replant this. That should do. I've got a capsicum there. Uh, more lettuce. Another capsicum. Basil, 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 basil. You can never have enough basil. And... This is a fun experiment. What I've done is I've gotten a stalk from a cabbage, a supermarket bought one, and just put it into the um, gravel, and it took. So it may not work because, as you can see, there are multiple heads forming on it. I may need to um, kill it off and just leave one head. So from that. I'll find out what the reaction is going to be. Is it going to bolt? Is it um, just going to be a messy looking cabbage? And a Lebanese cucumber. They love water, so I thought I'd give them a try in this system. I got these zip crow towers from online. There's a very good YouTube channel that. that promotes them. So the water is plumbed in from the top and it oxygenates along the surface area of this scourer. So what it is, is it's a long scourer and then it pinches around there, it just forms like a U. So what happens is you fold it up and as you fold it up it clenches the plants in between, holds them in place and they threw out their roots and they collect the water, which then down, 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 then drips down to the bottom. And that's yet another point where we get to oxygenate the water. So I've built this system on the principle that the more oxygen that's, or the more splash points that are happening, um, then the more successful the system will be. Uh, I've got some water lilies in there, and they're doing well. Yet to see a flower. 
and I've got a trivet that's sitting in the pond and on the trivet I've just put a Vietnamese mint plant. I've mixed some peat with gravel and it's a very it's been very successful. I've had to it's been so successful I've had to remove some of them from from the system. And what they do is they throw out massive root systems and they help to clean a lot of the solids from the water. And here's an example of a more mature grow bed. So this is about one month older. Got tomato in there. I put marigold as a um, pest control type of plant. It hasn't flowered yet. Strawberries, which I'm going to remove. I find that they're not productive enough in this system. And a Japanese lettuce, bok choy, and of course, basil, basil. So that's what I'm up to at the moment. I'm very happy with it. I will um, give you an update after Christmas. Bye.